happy holiday season from Texas, where one of the best things we do, no, not one of the best things. We do everything good in Texas. We do everything bigger and better in Texas. That's kind of the thing. And what we're really good at is eating a crap ton of tamales. Lots, and that's like beef, pork, bean and cheese, jalapeno and cheese, and then cinnamon and cream cheese is my new favorite. Love it. Um, but I also love, if you know me, you know that I also like my wine. So why not pair Texas wines and tamales? It's like a no brainer, right? Maybe. Um, and so what I thought was, is I want to give a, if you're looking, if, if you, if you're planning on eating tamales this year, which I know you are because you're probably from Texas, check out your local store, like your local HEB. They have a ton of Texas wines, go out to Fredericksburg, go out to wherever. There are so many Texas wines and here's just a few I'm going to share with you that I just happen to have in my house, you know, because why not? Uh, but then it's almost like, well, then also then you have your red and then your whites and how do you, you're drawing your sweet, where, where do you go? Which do you choose for the tamales you're going to be eating? Uh, so here's a pretty basic guideline to help you decide which wines you want. If you're going to have tamales, when you have your tamales, that's the key word, when you have your tamales. Again, though, first, first rule of all of all of this is you drink what you like, you eat what you like. These are just suggestions and um, you may decide that you want something different and it just go, it just works with your palate. Let me know, comment, share. I would love to see what you're drinking with your tamales. Uh, and that, cause I'd like to try it too, right? So let's start with your basics. You have your meat tamales. You have your beef, your pork, your, and then your chicken. And those are kind of your heaviest to lightest. So when you look at your, your, your have your bigger meats like your beef. You're gonna look at your Cabernet Sauvignons, your Syrahs, your Movedres, your Tanat. Texas. I think the Tanats are probably my fav, my personal favorites of Texas wines. We do them so well. And if you get a chance, find a Tanat. Oh look, I have this one here. Who wants to say hello? Sasha, say hello. I think she's done. Okay, go. When it comes to more of your pork, think a little bit lighter, your Tempranillos, your Merlots, your Cabernet Francs. And then when you get to your chickens, uh, when you get to your chickens, we're gonna, we're gonna move them down. Um, your Carignans, uh, Texas actually has, I've seen some really good red blends with some Carignan in it. And that also goes really good with some spices. So like the cinnamon. So if you have a, a the cinnamon, cream cheese and cinnamon tamale, probably go really good with that too try it. Then when you go to your spicy, uh, that's the other thing. If you start having spicy meats and spicy, like the cream cheese and jalapeno, you don't necessarily want the bigger reds. Those are going to, there's too much overpower. And, like you don't want your food, want your wine to overpower your food. You don't want your food to overpower your wine. And when you get into the spicy, you actually want a bit of a sweeter wine. And Texans love their Moscatos, Gewürztraminers, Rieslings, we make some really good Rieslings. Um, check those out. With that spicy, it helps balance it out. Riesling goes excellent with the cream cheese and jalapeno. Um, the sweets also go well with the sweeter tamales too. So I think I saw, I saw in HEB, there's like a pumpkin and cream cheese. Didn't try that one, that might be next. Uh, I think that might go good with the reverse demeanor. Also, you have your rosé wines. Now, here's the issue with rosé. Not issue. It's the... Con you have to be careful with rosés. Because rosés can go from super dry to super sweet. So, you have to read what your rosé is and balance that. Basically, you ain't going to go wrong with a Texas wine and a tamale. Try it. Try it on Texas wine. Get your regular tamales as you get. Uh, comment below, let me know what you're drinking and eating. And uh, again, not only is it the most important part is that you have to eat and drink what you like and what tastes good to you, but a lot of the, of, of the, of the taste and 
the, the combinations also stems from the experience and the whole atmosphere, what's going on, the family, the friends, the, the togetherness of sharing food and wine with those that you love. And that really kind of makes the, it just takes it to a whole nother level. So enjoy your, your Thanksgiving, enjoy your Christmas, enjoy your Hanukkah, enjoy your holidays, whatever you may do, or just enjoy food. If you don't celebrate, just enjoy food and grab a tamale, grab some Texas wine. And as we say in, in Czech, uh, bon appetit, uh, cheers, enjoy. Also below, I will list a bunch of the wines that I did try with my tamales that I was playing with like today. Uh, it's not exhaustive. But if you're looking for suggestions, check that out below. Check out the links to the wineries. They have tons of descriptions about all of them. And enjoy.